And today we'll be starting from verse uh, number 63. We had actually finished uh, off at, six, uh, uh, at verse number 62. And now uh, we will start uh, verse from verse number 63. So as uh, normally is the case, I first read out, recite the verse, entire verse of the Holy Quran, and then it's word to word translation. I go over it. And uh, then we go through, I read out the running translation. So the same pattern will continue. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Inna al-lazina amanu wal-lazina hadu. Nasara was sobina Man Amana Billa, he was Yomil Ahiri Wamila Soliha, while a hum a juru hum Yondarabihim Walla Hofon Alehim, while a yahum yahzan. <clears throat> Allah the Almighty says, Inna Ladina Amanu, Inna, surely, indeed, Alladina, those who Amanu believed. Inna Ladina Amanu, surely, those who believed. Walladina Hadu, wa, and Alladina, those who Hadu became Jews, became Jews. One Nasara and the Christians. One Nasara and the Christian. Was Sabiina and the Sabians. And the Sabians. Man Amana Billahi. Man, whichever from among these people. Amana. He believed Billahi with Allah. Wal yomil akhiri and the day or and the last day. Wa and al yoma day al akhira akhir the last day. So those who believe and surely those who believe and those who are Jews and Christians and Sabians, whichever from among them believe in Allah at the last day. Wa Amila Salihan Wa an Amila he acted Salihan good Falahum and for them Ajiruhum their reward Ajir reward Hum their Ajiruhum their reward in the Rabbihim in the Ved Rabbihim their Lord Rab Lord him there. Wala khawfun and no fear. Khawf, fear, alayhim upon them. Wala and not whom they yahzanun, they shall grieve. So this is a verse of the Holy Quran. Let's just read the English translation first and then maybe one or two pointers to take uh, uh, from these ver this verse. Surely those, let me look at, surely those, surely the believers and the Jews and the Christians and the Sabians, whichever party from among these truly believes in Allah and the last day and does good deeds shall have their reward with their Lord. No fear shall come upon them, nor shall they grieve. <coughs> so this is a verse of the Holy Quran, and that um, uh, teaches us that no one has the monopoly over salvation. This is what we are being taught here. This is, in fact, the only verse which could be found. Uh, this Islam is the only religion that preaches that. 
that you believe you could be from, one could be from a Jew or a Christian. They believe in Allah and they do good deeds and they believe in the hereafter. Then their reward is with their Lord. So, so this is what we learn from this uh, uh, verse of the Holy Quran. And this distinction is given to uh, Islam only that it does not monopolize salvation. And here the word you often, we will often read وَلَا خَوْفٌ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا هُمْ يَحْزَنُونَ So uh, khawf usually refers to fear which deals with the past. And يَحْزَنُونَ uh, this de deal with something that is for the future. So this is something to keep in mind. Although fear that is re related to the past is Known as uh, the, uh, it's it's uh, referred uh, in Arabic as khawf or in the Holy Quran, and uh, huzn is referred to uh, grief or fear that is for the future. Moving on, wa if akhna mithaqum wa rafana fawkum. <coughs> Remember in the previous verses that we've been uh, reciting and learning its word to word translation, Allah the Almighty is speaking about the favors which he bestowed upon the Israelites. One more favor is being just mentioned here, what is and when. Akhazna, we took. Akhazna, we took. Mithaka, a covenant from you. Mithaka, a covenant from you. Mithaka, a covenant from you. Warafana and we raised high. Warafana and we raised high. Foka kumut ku foka kum above you. Foka above kum you. Foka kum above you. Atu the mount. Atu the mount. Kuzu you hold. Kuzu you hold. Ma atainakum. Ma what? Atainakum. We have given you. Khuzuma <coughs> atainakum. You hold what we have given to you. Bikuvatin. With strength. Bikuvatin. With strength. Vazguru. And you bear in mind. Vazguru. And you bear in mind. Mafi. What? Mafihi, whatever's in it. Mafihi, what is in it? La'allakum, that you may tattakun, attain piety. Attain piety. If you may attain righteousness, you may attain piety because by holding fast and remembering what Allah has mentioned and acting upon it, you will. Uh, you you can attain piety. So here, Allah the Almighty says, and remember the time when we took a covenant from you and raised high above you the mount, saying, hold fast that which we have given you and bear in mind what is, in, what is there in that you may be saved. So here, that um, takun uh, has been translated as save, which also comes from the same root meaning, which from uh, the Taya, which means shield. So that takun essentially is that you become saved. How you will become saved uh, by acting upon whatever is mentioned in 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 in, in this uh, covenant. Then Allah the Almighty says, Thumma tawallaytum min ba'di dalik 
فَلَوْلَا فَضْلُ اللَّهِ عَلَيْكُمْ وَرَحْمَتُهُ لَكُنْتُمْ مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ <coughs> So again, uh, in the previous verses, Allah the Almighty, this has been the trend um, that Allah mentions a favor on the Israelites and then how they turned back, how they reacted after the favor that is being mentioned. So again, Allah the Almighty is, has mentioned the, uh, a favor on the Israelites here and then also uh, in the following verse, how they turned back. Thumma then. Thumma then. Tawallaytum. You turned back. Thumma tawallaytum. Then you turned back. Mim ba'di from after. Dalik that. Falawla. So if not. Fadlullahi. Grace of Allah. Alaykum upon you. Wa rahmatuhu. And his mercy. La kuntum la, surely, you cannot prolong this la. If you say la, it will mean not. La kuntum, surely you were min al khasirin of the losers. So here Allah the Almighty has mentioned that uh, they turned back, but it was only the fuzz, the grace of Allah the Almighty and his blessing, say his rahma, his mercy that he, he saved them. Moving on to verse number 66. وَلَقَدْ عَلِمْتُمُ الَّذِينَ عَتَدَوْا مِنْكُمْ فِي السَّبْتِ فَكُلْنَا لَهُمْ كُونُوا كِرَدَةً تَنْخَاسِئِينَ وَلَقَدْ <coughs> Va and lakad surely. Walakad and surely alim tumu. You have known. Alim tumu. You have known. Alladina. Those who etado. Transgressed. Etado. Transgressed. Minkum. Or minkum. From you. Fissabati. In the in Sabbath. In Sabbath, you know, there are certain commandments uh, were given to the Israelites uh, with regards to the Sabbath, that is the uh, Saturday that they, the whole, the holy day in the, uh, in the Jewish re religion. Uh, so Allah the Almighty is saying that uh, they transgressed uh, um, when it came to the commandments with regards to the Sabbath. Then Allah the Almighty says, Fakulna, so we said, Lahum to them, Kunu, you be Kiradatan apes, Khaseen, despised. Kiradatan apes, this is a new word, Khaseen, despised. Running translation would be, and surely you have known the end of those amongst you who transgressed in the matter of Sabbath. We said to them, be you apes despised. <coughs> uh, sorry, I'm just recovering from my sickness. That's why a little bit struggling with my throat here. Verse number 50, 67 rather. فَجَعَلْنَاهَا نَكَالَ لِمَا بَيْنَ يَدَيْهَا وَمَا خَلْفَهَا وَمَوْئِذَةً لِلْمُتَّقِينَ فَجَعَلْنَاهَا Notice there are several verbs here. فَا So, جَعَلْنَا We made ha it. فَجَعَلْنَاهَا So, we made it. Nakalad, an example. This is a new word. Nakalad, an example. Lima, for those baina yadai, between two hands. This is something, uh, a, 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 a phrase in Arabic language 
that main ayadai means right in front of your hand, meaning whatever is apparent, and wama khalfahum, and whatever is hidden. This is a, a, a phrase that is uh, used in Arabic for things that are apparent and things that are hidden. So he, uh, so again, faja al naha. So we made it nakal an example lima for those between the two hands, between two hands, it's between its two hands, wama khalfaha and uh, what are that after it khalfa after it khalfaha after it. Vamau izatan and a lesson. Mau izatan, a lesson. Lil muttaqin for those who fear God. Lil muttaqin for those who fear God. Allah the Almighty says, running translation. Thus we made it an example to those of its time, and to those who came after it, and a lesson for those. Who fear God. Verse number 68. Wa if kala musa li kaumihi inna allaha ya murukum al-tazdahu al-tazdahu bakara alu atatakhiduna huzuwa قال أعوذ بالله أن أكون من الجاهلين. So here another favor, uh, another um, um, crookedness, if you want to call uh, it, that is being mentioned. Another um, uh, commandment which was given to Israelites and how they made a mockery out of it. And the, notice the word that has been used in this verse that in, is Bakara. We'll get to that as well. Wa uh, qala wa and is when qala he said Musa Moses when Moses said li kaumihi to his people for his people in Allah surely Allah ya murukum he commands you ya murukum. He commands you an tazbahu an to tazbahu zibah we also use in Urdu as well tazbahu you slaughter an tazbahu you slaughter li kau bakara an tazbahu you slaughter bakara kau alu they said atatahiduna Ah, I am also mentioned in the previous classes as well. When there is alif before a a, a verb, it, it turns into a a a a, a, a question. So atatta khizul does uh, do you make na us? Do you make us huzuwa a jest? Are you joking with us? In other words, ala he said, meaning Moses said. Audu, I seek refuge, Billahi, with Allah, on that, Akuna, I become, Min al Jahilin, Min from Jahilin, the ignorance. So here again, um, uh, a commandment was given to uh, um, Israelites to slaughter a, uh, a cow. And um, then they made a mockery out of it. And we will see in the uh, preceding verses uh, that uh, how they made a joke out of it. And uh, it was a commandment of Allah the Almighty. They were not ready to fulfill it. So this is a lesson, Al-Baqarah. The, 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 this is the name of the chapter. And perhaps this is referring to this incident, Al-Baqarah, the cow, um, that uh, the Israelites, they were not ready to. Uh, accept uh, the commandment or to slaughter it as mentioned by uh, Allah the Almighty. So, the lesson perhaps being given to Muslims when commandment uh, of Allah the Almighty comes, do not ask so many questions as the, uh, the Israelites did. So here we will see. Um, uh, I will Let me just read out the translation in uh, 
uh, running translation, and then we will move on to the next verse. And remember when Moses said to his people, Allah commands you to slaughter a cow. They said, do you make a jest of us? He said, I seek refuge with Allah from being one of the, of the ignorant. One of the ignorant. Yeah, I, I think there should be an S as well. Because it's one of the. So there are, perhaps this is a mistake. I will note, note it down and report it. Ignorance. Um, the next verse is verse number 69. We will see what they're saying now. They said, meaning the Israelites said, Udulana, you pray for us. You pray for us, Rabbaka, your Lord. So you pray for us from your for your to your Lord, you bayinana, that your Lord should explain to us. That he should explain Lana for us, Mahiya, what she Allah, what she is, what kind of animal cow she is. Allah, he said, Moses said. Innahu surely he yakulu he says meaning God says inna innaha surely it bakaratun a cow la not neither faridun faridun old wala bikr and not young neither old nor young avanum avanum full grown Baina between the like this full grown between this faf alu so you do ma what to maroon you are commanded <clears throat> running translation they said pray for us to your lord that he makes he that he make plain to us what she is he answered god says it is a cow neither old nor young, full grown between the two. Now do what you are commanded. So here they asked uh, Musa salam, to pray to Allah the Almighty to clear what kind of uh, cow she is. Now again, after getting that answer, they're asking another question. Let's move to verse number 70. Same thing is being repeated. Kalu, they said, Udulana, pray. You pray for uh, for, for us, Rabbaka, your Lord. You Yilana, he explains, Lana, for us. Ma uh, launuha. What is ma, what launu, color, ha is. What is its color? Kala, he said, in Nahu, surely he, Yakuru, he says. Meaning God says, Innaha shori et bakaratun kao safra dan. Safra dan. Fa pure and rich. Pure and rich. Launuha color its. Ha its. Launuha its color. Tasarru. She delights an nazirin. The beholders. Those who see. Uh, running translation, they said, pray for us to your Lord that he make plain to us what color she is. 
He answered, God says, it is a cow of a dun color, pure and rich in tone, delighting the beholders. So now, uh, uh, when it was clear, made clear what kind of cow she is, now they were asking, okay, now ask Allah what kind of color uh, of uh, this cow, uh, what kind of color should be. So that is also made clear. But in reality, they were they were not ready to do what was being commanded. So again, they're making another um, another demand here. Verse number seventy-one. قَالُوا دُعُوا لَنَا رَبَّكَ يُبَيِّنْ لَنَا مَا هِيَ إِنَّ الْبَقَرَ تَشَابَهَ عَلَيْنَا إِنَّ الْبَقَرَ تَشَابَهَ عَلَيْنَا وَإِنَّا إِنْ شَاءَ اللَّهُ لَمُهْتَدُونَ قَالُوا دُعُوا same words are being repeated here. Kalu, they said, Udu um, pray for us, Rabbaka, your Lord. Yubayyil lana, he explains, but he explains, meaning God explains, lana for us. What, ma, what, he, ya, she. Ma, what, he, ya, she. Inna, shori, in al bakara, shori, the cows. Tashabaha appear alike. So they're saying, surely all the cows they appear alike. Alaina upon us. Wa inna and surely we, inshallah, if Allah pleases, this is something we read it uh, uh, and we say it in our day to day conversation as well, inshallah. So they're saying, inna surely we, in if sha'a, he pleased, meaning Allah pleased, Allah, Allah, la muhtadun, indeed be guided, indeed be guided, during translation. They said, pray to us, to your Lord, that he make plain for us what she is, for all such cows appear to us alike. And if Allah please, we shall indeed be guided. Moving on to verse number 72. <laughs> Musallamatun to Musallamatun la shiata fiha. Allul anajit bil haqq. Fazabahuha. Wama kadu yaf alu. One uh, uh, just a separate point of recitation. This is Shadda. And this is one of uh, uh, letters of Kalkala. So since we are stopping here, you will exaggerate that Kalkala. Bil haq would be incorrect. Because it is Shadda, we have to uh, make sure we pronounce that as well. Anyways, um, now Allah the Almighty says, uh, in, in this verse of the Holy Quran, Kala, he said, innahu shawli he, Yakulu, he says, meaning Allah says, Moses said, surely Allah says, in Naha, surely it, meaning this cow, Bakaratun, a cow, la, not Zalulun, broken in. Zalulun, broken in. Tusiru, she plows. Tusiru, she plows, al Arda, the earth. Wala, and not Tasti, she waters, al Hars. The fields, and she does not water the fields. Musallamatun, musallamatun, one without blemish, one without blemish. La not Shia, Shiata, la not Shia, Shiata, part fiha in it. Palu, 
they said, meaning the Israelites said, Al-An, now, Jeta, you came bil with the truth. Fa, so, Zabahu, Ha, they slaughtered it. Wama kadu, and they were not ready. Wama kadu, and they were not about to. Yafalu, they do. Running translation. He answered, God says, it is a cow not broken to plow the earth or water the, uh, the tilt. One without blemish of one color. They said, now have you brought the truth? They, then they slaughtered it, her, though they would rather not do so. So here, uh, Allah the Almighty uh, answering uh, their uh, question, uh, their uh, inquiries about this cow, uh, but in reality they were not uh, ready to slaughter this particular cow. They were finding excuses and uh, making a mockery out of it. Um, so this is, this has been recorded here in the Holy Quran. This uh, and this bakara uh, that has been in, you, in this incident that is being. Uh, mentioned uh, the this chapter is also named Al Bakara, which means the cow. Uh, it it serves as a lesson to the Muslims that uh, whenever the commandments of Allah the Almighty come, then we should be simply uh, obeying the commandment rather than asking a lot of questions. So we will finish here. Jazakumullah Taala Inshallah, in our next class we will start from verse number seventy-three, uh, Ruku nine. Jazakumullah wa ta'ala, jazakumullah, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.